You're watching the OnePlus Nord N200 5G disassembly. If you need any tools, there are links in the description. First, the SIM tray needs to be removed. Once the SIM tray is removed, we need to use a hairdryer or a heat gun to heat up the back plate so we can loosen up the adhesive underneath. And then we're gonna use a plastic pry tool to pry the back plate off. Here's a look at the plastic back plate. There are 19 Phillips screws which need to be removed. Once all the screws have been removed, we're going to take our plastic pry tool and place it in between the back housing and the frame of the screen, and then we're going to run it along the edges of the back housing and pop the catches off. Once the back housing is free from the frame of the screen, don't completely pull it off yet since the cable over here for the fingerprint reader is still attached to the main board. We're going to lift up the back housing and first disconnect the battery cable. Once the battery cable is disconnected, we can disconnect the fingerprint reader cable. The back housing itself is plastic as well. The glass cover over here for the camera lens is held down with adhesive, so if you need to replace that, just heat it up and pry it off. The NFC antenna is located right over here and some graphene film over here. The graphene film helps transfer heat. Taking a look at the other side, we can see numerous antenna flex cables around the back housing. We can also see the LED flash board located right over here. One thing I want to mention is the fingerprint scanner cable over here is separate from the flex cable over here for the power button clicker. So if the fingerprint scanner cable were to be disconnected or damaged, the power button would still function. This graphene film and copper tape needs to be peeled off in order to gain access to the cable for the front facing camera. Now the cable can be disconnected and the front facing camera can be removed. The rest of the cables can now be disconnected. These wire cables or coaxial cables can be disconnected by just popping them off. The flex cable over here for this camera also has to be disconnected. Now the mainboard can be lifted up and removed. There's some copper tape on top of the shields to help transfer heat, as well as rubber gaskets around each of the connectors. These two camera connectors can also be disconnected by just popping them off. And on top over here, there's a secondary microphone. On this side of the motherboard, we can see more copper tape on top of the shields, as well as some thermal paste over here. The SIM card and memory card reader is located right over here, and the proximity sensor is located over here on top. Once the copper tape is peeled off, we can see thermal paste and a thermal pad on top of the processor and RAM. It's time to remove the speaker assembly. On this side of the speaker assembly, there's more graphene film over here. There's also a mesh filter over here, over the speaker opening. And here's the speaker itself. Now these coaxial cables have to be disconnected. And then we can disconnect this flex cable over here. Once those have been disconnected, the subboard can be lifted up and removed. There's a rubber gasket around the charger port itself and the headphone jack over here. The main microphone is located over here underneath the shield. And here's a look at the other side. To remove the battery, there's a provided pull tab over here, which will help you pry the battery off. Here's a better look at the battery. Once the battery adhesive is peeled back, we have access to this flex cable over here, which connects the main board to the subboard. We also see the screen flex cable over here, which is right up to this opening over here in the mid frame. So if you had to replace your screen, you'd have to take the back plate off, remove the screws on the back housing, and remove the back housing itself, 
and then you disconnect the battery cable as well as the screen cable from the main board. Next you'd remove the battery itself and then you'd heat up the front of the phone where the screen is so you can loosen up the adhesive underneath the screen. You'd pry your old screen off the midframe. You'd get your new screen, apply new adhesive, reapply it back to the midframe and reassemble your phone. Once the flex cable which connects the main board to the subboard is removed, we can see this black graphene film over here. And then when we peel that off, underneath it we can see layers of graphite. And the graphite basically does the same thing as copper tape or copper heat pipes, which is it transfers heat. So moving on, the vibrator motor is located right over here. And it's held on with adhesive. Here's the flex cable over here for the power button. And the flex cable over here is for the volume keys. The earpiece over here on top is held on with adhesive. So if you wanted to remove that, just heat it up slightly and pry it off. All right, now it's time to put the phone back together. Once all the screws are back in place, apply new adhesive and reapply the back plate. Flip over the phone. Power it on and you're done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys want to see more videos like this, make sure you like, subscribe and click on the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I upload a video. Thanks again for watching guys and I'll see you guys in the next video.